And there are thousands of people in Durham still without power right now after the storms hit that area Tuesday afternoon. Right now, 10,000 is the number of people in the dark with those homes and businesses down. Duke Energy says it hopes to have all the power restored by 6 o'clock tonight. Durham Public Schools, the ones that are on the year-round calendar, are closed again today because of the outages. WRL's Monica Casey joins us now from Durham. It's been a long couple of days without power, especially with the timing, Monica. It's been just so hot there without AC. It has been. We've been speaking with residents who are pretty tired, a little frustrated, but they say this looks much better than it did yesterday. The damage at this intersection is extensive with power lines on the ground. This tree took out so much in this area. Stoplights are shattered on the ground as well. Not having power is a struggle right now for many reasons. A hot house without AC, food spoiling in the refrigerator, no Wi-Fi to get work done from home. It's also been a particular struggle for families trying to keep kids occupied. Well, we go out to the playgrounds, to the museum, to the Life and Science Museum, or like the library and stuff. It's just been a little bit harder with all the traffic lights out and stuff. It's a little scary because people don't know, I feel like, when to stop or when to go. <laughs> Jeff Brooks with Duke Energy tells me in this storm, a lot of damage has been localized to neighborhoods and side streets on lines that may not have self-healing technology. He says one tree on a line and a broken pole may only be impacting 40 houses, but it takes multiple crews to remove the tree, get a new line, and stand up a power pole. Now, law enforcement wants to remind you, if you come across an intersection like this one, this is drastic, obviously, with the stoplights down on the ground, but the there are plenty of traffic signals that are simply out but still standing. These should be treated as four-way stops if you drive up to one of these. Monica Casey, WREL News in Durham.